Welcome back to Fuel Fun Bros. Back at it again. And boy, do I miss saying that. But that's all about a change because we just got a new project car and here it is. So it's a 97 E36. As you can see, it's the sedan. So they are more rare. We'll get into the details a bit later. How about you just do a quick walk around? The tow truck just dropped it off. So it's obviously hidden the front right here, black. Let me show you the interior real quick. So not too bad, it has 111,000 miles. There's some parts I do not like that fender just laying on the seat. We're gonna have to remove it. So hopefully we don't damage the seats, but some parts in here, I guess as well. We'll get into the details, what we find later. Just a quick walk around right now kind of give you a glimpse of what I'm seeing for the first time when it came in V12s all right so we got this car from insurance auto auctions not Copart they're both very similar but we happened to get one from insurance auto auctions my first time getting a personal car for myself from there so obviously it's hit on the driver's front let's pop the hood real quick so there you go in pictures the hood was not popped open because it maybe it was like jammed or something but we popped it open it's actually not as bad as i thought it would i thought the radiator would be damaged and whatnot you see the rail is a little bit kind of bent to the side but overall no biggie and i'm quite happy so just this part mainly has to get fixed a little bit of framework throw back the parts what we need and we'll have a nice car hopefully so stay tuned we're gonna get this car from this yard and tow it to another yard and then we're gonna start trying to look for parts and try to go to pick and pull the hood is the same from all the other pretty much cars if it's a sedan it should fit this vehicle so we're going to try to scout some parts we'll give you the prices and the rundown but for now we're just waiting to tow this car back to another yard so stay tuned let's go So here's the car sun is setting we gotta talk real quick and just show it to you well as you can see this car received some damage to this area this place kind of got buckled and tweaked a little bit right here so i'm not a like a frame guy or whatever but to me it seems like we're gonna have to pull this or the frame guy it's gonna have to pull it align it and maybe start cutting off right here because if you look to the spot walls on this frame rail and kind of this inner fender part they got torn so I'm thinking this is okay, the shock tower, um, but that's just my thinking. And I think we're just gonna somehow cut around here, spot welds or whatever, and weld up a new piece and hopefully it should be good to go. All right, so coming up to the opposite side, all of this looks okay. So this rail looks pretty straight. It may be tweaked, you know, same. It looks okay in my eyes, but if a frame dude puts it on the frame, starts measuring, he's the one that will be able to see all the little specs and whatnot, so. We're gonna take this pretty much at the end of the day to the frame shop they're gonna fix it we're gonna get it back and just start aligning little pieces like headlights radiator support maybe tweak a little or something but looking at the damage the radiator actually did not pop um it did move and shift a little so even though if it's holding you know pressure or whatever and cooling it now i'd rather replace it and just be safe so if i'm going on a road trip so it just doesn't really pop or something it's more of a safety thing um, but other than that, yeah, the airbox is missing. We'll need a little fan right here. And um, pretty much got all the parts ready out, whatever was inside. If you want to just kind of follow me, I'll show you real quick. You might need a, I think, control arm on the bottom got bent. So we'll need a control arm, maybe another little link or something. I have to peek a little bit. So it is the luxury package. It has the wooden trim and whatnot. In the beginning, I didn't honestly want wooden trim, but after having, I don't know if it's just because I bought one, now I'm starting to like it, but yeah. It is what it is. It does have that BMW smell. So there was a bunch of stuff like laying right here in the back, the fans, like metal impact bars. So there's a couple indents in the leather. 
or whatever pleather i don't know what this car had but i hope it's not damaged we're gonna see further there's kind of no sunlight so we'll find out later i guess and if we move up to the back opened up the trunk uh, we found a bunch of like stereo equipment and stuff i'm not a total pro but i think this is an amp or something got some cables laying here so i think he had a sub here i checked the speakers to see what brand they are because i seen they were replaced and actually uh, made by focal which back in the day i actually wanted to get some for my nissan they're a little pricey so that's kind of cool we'll see try to maybe see how it sounds so try to go inside oh yeah one other thing one thing i don't like what happened is this antenna is not supposed to be there it's an aftermarket antenna and i think they probably drilled inside which to me is a not a smart idea unless hey maybe they needed it for something but i don't need it so eventually either plug it up or weld it up and repaint this whole side which i kind of don't want to do maybe just have a little plug or something here or something shorter because that to me looks kind of a little weird so all right since this dude or maybe female gal whoever was driving this car has some speakers had a subwoofer inside let's try to see maybe what we could hear uh snaps well maybe it's in the glove box oh not right there perfect let's see if this works six six three five three hey find out if it has a reception because he did snap up cables i don't know maybe the antenna is not working nothing is playing so i think there's a cable like cut in the back so we're gonna have to dig it a little later and see what happens because i don't think there's any sound or nothing coming through here but that's just a minor thing we gotta obviously fix this car we're just kind of curious to see what happens so we're gonna end this video right now the sun is setting i am sorry if the quality is not the best because we didn't have much time but still I'll try to show you what i see pretty much i'm pretty stoked about this car honestly been wanting one since i was a kid my first car again like i said was a 318 ti and now like what was that it was like eight almost 10 years later i actually get an m3 so that's pretty sick i'm pretty stoked it's a five speed manual as well which is nice the black and um, black interior so i'm pretty stoked honestly just can't wait to go to pick and pull it's gonna be the next video so stay tuned we're gonna go try to scout some parts hopefully get some good deals Hopefully I have better lighting and not just kind of rushing through the video. So again, subscribe to Foil Fun Bro. Stay tuned. Much appreciated. Take care.